Hey everyone. So this is a spotlight on the new film by Ignacio Santana called Hanging with a Friend. Now, if you've watched any of my previous uh, spotlights on Ignacio's films, you know I'm a big fan of what he's doing. I really like this meditative approach that he's taken. I was really drawn to his movies because they're uniquely e e experimental. Um, you know, he, he's really explored using these long takes, you know, really uh, extended takes that evoke a mood and, as I've said in previous videos, allows the viewer to kind of project him or herself into the image that you are watching. Now, what's interesting with Hanging with a Friend is that he takes that experimental um, meditative approach of the earlier films that he's done and blends it with a more a uh, slightly more traditional narrative. And in this case, the premise is that a retired hitman is working, uh, has just finished a script for a new film that he wants to produce. But he's faced with the question of how's he going to get the money to make this movie. And almost as if by, you know, by, by chance, he gets a call uh, from his former boss asking him to uh, kind of come out of retirement to carry out a hit. And in exchange, he's going to get the money that he needs to make his film. And he's faced with this moral dilemma, uh, which is only heightened when he finds out who he is being asked to kill. That's the setup. And where Ignacio takes this is in some really um, interesting directions. I think he steers clear of a lot of the melodrama that you might expect from this type of story and focuses a lot more on the relationship between the hitman and his intended victim and the dynamics between these two characters. I think that's where this particular film really, uh, where, where its strengths really lie, is in that character dynamic. But like I said, if you enjoyed this meditative approach uh, from his earlier films, that's there too. There's a lot of extended takes uh, with very uh, naturalistic, spontaneous feeling dialogue. Uh, it feels like almost a, like, like an improvisational conversation between these two characters. Uh, it works very well, I think. And uh, uh, and, and you know, and, and, and it's it's different enough from his uh, from Ignacio's earlier films that if you uh, see this one first, you know, you might want to go back and look at the earlier ones because. I think you'll see where he's probably um, developed a lot of the kinds of stylistic approaches that he uses so well here. Anyway, I'll put a link to the film in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.